open up. up, open up. Shut it down like a pack of tops. Open up, open up, open up, open up. It is really cold out today. I actually have my heat on, and this morning I had my seat warmer on in the car because I was so cold. It's really crummy out and raining which sometimes is nice because it almost doesn't it doesn't make you feel as guilty for not doing a lot <laughs> i'm just home working today so i don't mind request my cherry get ya hey youtube this is shannon with shanny cells welcome back to vlogtober day three um today's a really exciting day because my favorite thrift store that I featured in my last um, thrift haul is doing a free day. Everything in the entire store is free because they're closing for the season. So we're gonna see what we can find. And I feel a little weird filming because there's people out there, but I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, this is Shannon um, with Shani Sells over on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. I realized in my last clip um, where I was in my car telling you guys what I was doing, I didn't introduce myself and I can't assume that everyone is coming back to my channel since it's so new and I don't have um, a lot of followers yet. So I have gained a few followers. So if you're coming back and you've seen my videos before, I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. But if you're new here, my name is Shannon. I am a full-time online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And I thrift clothing and yard sale, flea market, etc. I find them wherever I can and I resell them for profit. And um, it's been amazing. And I love what I do. So um, coming back to you with a tiny thrift haul from the previous clip where I talked about how I was going to my favorite thrift store. They're having a free day. They do this every year, once a year, right before they close for the season. The building that they operate in doesn't have any heat, so they basically can't function in the winter. Um, I don't know why they don't just like put everything online for like selling or auction, but I think it's because they're they don't really know how to do it. Um, it's run by a bunch of older volunteers. So anyway, everything that I'm showing you was free. I didn't do that well. It wasn't, I didn't get any great brands or any, um, anything amazing, but I did okay. Everything was free. So we're going to just get right into it. Um, okay. I normally don't pick up um, men's dress shoes. I do have a pair of Cole Haan men's dress shoes that have been sitting for quite some time that I picked up because everyone talks about Cole Haan. Um, he hasn't sold fast for me, so I don't know. But I, I, that's the only time I've picked up dress shoes, but you know, this was free. So I picked these up. Um, they're just simple brown leather. They're Barney's New York men's dress shoes, lace up dress shoes. Um, so I got those. I also picked up these boots. I was looking at these the last time I was there. Um, and I was just at this thrift store like last week. I did a video on it um, a couple days ago. And that's another reason I didn't find a lot because I was just there. So they really didn't put out new stuff. Um, but I was looking at these boots last time I was there when everything wasn't free. And I was debating getting them. But I didn't. So I picked them up today. They don't have any brand that I can see. There's some writing on the side. It says made in, oh, it says made in Czechoslovakia. That's cool. And they're real leather. Um, they say oil resistant on the bottom. So they're like work boots. They kind of remind me of the boots Reese Witherspoon wore in that movie Wild, if you've seen that, uh, a little bit. Those are different, but I think they're cool, and once I clean them up and maybe do some research, maybe I'll find what brand they are. I'm not sure. But either way, they were free. Everything was free. I love free. Um, so I was happy to find these um, vintage mom jeans. I found these right before I was leaving, and I almost skipped over them. And then I saw this on the side. I, I really like that detail. I think it's unique. Very 80s. The back is the same with these like super deep pockets. 
Um, they're super 80s. They're like straight leg on the bottom. You have some like cool whiskering here on the denim. They're size six and they're by the brand Colorado's. 100% cotton size six and um, those are cool. I'll probably have to model them because they're, you know, vintage and different sizing. I picked this up um, because it was free. <laughs> Banana Republic, I don't normally get if I'm paying for it, but this is a pretty lacy top. It's a size 14. Um, so we'll see how that does. Um, <laughs> this is that brand Karen Scott. It's just sold at Macy's, but um, they remind me of the Spice Girls, so I picked them up. They're like white leather. I think they're real leather, I believe. All man-made, so they might not be real leather, but they're like fleecy inside. And square toe, tiny heel. I don't know if this was a mistake to pick up. We'll see. Um, so this is a sweater I was also looking at when they weren't free. And it's interesting. Um... It's kind of a grandma sweater, but I also think it's really boho. I don't know. Something about it, like, I just thought it was cute. It's the brand Cabin Creek. It's a size large. It's vintage. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really, really cute. And it might sit forever and it might not even sell. But anything that doesn't sell, I'll just redonate because it was free. So... Another thing I don't pick up is, ooh, I just sold something on eBay. Cool. If you heard a noise, that's what that was. I love that sound. Um, LuLaRoe, I don't pick up anymore. Um, this is a size small. Um, I, I don't know what style dress this is. This might be like the Amelia, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, it's the long dress with like the three quarter sleeves. So, I mean, it's a cute style. LuLaRoe, I was a big fan too. Um, I still like their leggings, although I'm selling the ones I have. <clears throat> but, um, the next item, and I only have two items left, is a Forever 21, it's a Forever 21 men's red jacket. And it has a hood, and it's, Got this, like, denim inside. Forever 21 men. Size large. However, this could definitely be worn as, like, a small to medium. Um, if you want, like, more of that oversized look. It's not... It's a large, but it runs small. It's got these big pockets. It's a, it's a very small large. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's just in really great condition, so... Picked it up. I forget where this next brand is sold. I'm sure I will probably look it up later and um, let you guys know, but it's that brand Relic. It's just a simple leather, brown, brown leather bag. I believe it is real leather. It's this brand Relic, R-E-L-I-C. Let's see what it says. Um, no, it's not real leather. I lied. <laughs> it's man-made. So, I think that's what it says anyway. Man-made material. Okay. But, still cute, you know. Um, ooh, it does have a flaw. I just realized in the pocket, this part is broken. Didn't, didn't realize that, but someone could probably glue it um, if they really wanted it. It's got a pocket here. What I do like, though, is the back has this, um, it's like a wallet pocket. It's a very deep pocket, and it has, like, all of your card holders in here. So you can just use that without having a wallet, which is cool. Um, so that's the whole thrift haul. I didn't, oh, wait, I did forget two things. I got two home items. I got this pretty glass bottle. I really love 
um, antique glass bottles. I collect them in my own house. I have a bunch of um, antique whiskey amber bottles sitting on my um, windowsill. You might have seen it in my last vlogtober. I think I showed you guys when it was raining outside. There's a bunch of bottles in the window. I love that. We also um, are working on getting a bar cart for our kitchen living room area and I think these look really cool in like a bar cart <clears throat> um, so just pretty I've sold a few antique bottles on Poshmark um, the last thing I got which I almost forgot about I'm obsessed with wicker baskets if you follow my Instagram or if you know anything about my Poshmark a lot of people are new here I love wicker baskets um, and I sell them as a set because people like to hang them on their walls. I originally got that idea from Little Black Hanger. If you don't follow her, you should. She's awesome. And ever since then, I've been selling them really well. I sell them in sets of like five to eight. <coughs> um, <clears throat> if you look on other sites, they sell for a lot of money. People sell baskets for a lot of money. So I tried to charge anywhere between like 25 to 35. Um, and people like that. So I collect them at various thrift, store, thrift stores. And then I put them together as a set. The last thing I got might be my favorite thing. <laughs> I picked up right before I left. Is this little, um, it's a butterfly made out of yarn. I thought it was wicker at first, but it appears to be made out of yarn. And I'm thinking I might hang it up. You can see this over here. You can see it. Um, I have a wicker basket and a wicker fan. Can I zoom in here? No, I can't. There's a wicker fan on my wall over there. And if I don't sell this, I might hang it up near that. <coughs> and if I don't hang it up in my house, I will sell it. Um, sorry about the coughing, still getting over my sickness, but I'm feeling better, so thank you guys for watching. I'll try to include a couple more clips for the vlogtober, um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. This was the amber bottle I was talking about in the other clip that I thrifted. Um, I love it so much. It's, it says on the bottom... Um, patent pending, full court, 32 ounce. This is beautiful. I love amber glass. And that sits on my windowsill in my kitchen, and it collects the light. I also have this little, um, dairy thing that we keep a plant in, and I think it looks cool with the roots. I also, this is um, sand from, we went to Greece, Santorini, Greece, in May of 2014, 15, um, no, that's totally wrong, May of 2017, and I put the sand from the, the beaches that we got, uh, we brought back from Greece in there, and this is also the sage that we saged our house with um, our first night here. Oh, that's that. Guys, this is my favorite show to watch on Netflix while I share my closet. Or do anything. It's called Good Witch, and it's so good. So many good fall and winter vibes. It's just so cozy and great. It's like watching a Hallmark movie, but in a series. Time for that lunchtime closet share. Hey, I thought I would do a small what sold video for the last few days. Um, so first things first, we have this Ann Taylor, not Ann Taylor loft, just regular Ann Taylor, large, tall, uh, metallic leopard sweater, animal print, so in right now, um, that sold over in Posh, now the next, um, two items sold on other platforms, these bongo clogs, um, they're kind of vintage, <clears throat> definitely like early 2000s at least, um, sold over on eBay. Now, this was an exciting sale. Um, I only picked these up, I want to say, a few weeks ago. I did feature them in one of my thrift hauls, but they're these vintage Skecher chunky lace-up shoes, and they sold over on Depop. 
last night for my earnings were $48. Um, and the girl was so nice. She was like, would you mind changing the price to 54? And I had them listed for like 58. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I did that and she purchased them right away. And I'm kind of thinking I should go back to Salvation Army because I was there yesterday for the half off day, which I did a thrift haul on. And I saw a really similar pair and I didn't pick them up. And now I'm thinking, should I go back and get them? Probably, but um, anyway, the actually, not the last, the second to last thing that sold was over on Posh. These Gap Railroad, um, Railroad is these types of lines. Railroad, the always skinny jeans uh, sold. And then I also had a tank top that sold, but I'm for some reason having trouble finding it um, in my bins. But I'm sure I'll find it in a minute. I just don't have it right now to show you. But I thought I would show you a quick what sold. Hey guys, it's almost 6 o'clock now. I'm going to insert a picture of Renfield, our 10-year-old baby, being carried down the stairs. My poor boy, he hasn't been feeling good today and yesterday. We think he might have hurt his back or his paw. But he finally started feeling better and jumped back up on the couch this is pretty much his couch i can't wait to get rid of it and put like chairs there anyway i'm just checking in i'm doing my almost six o'clock closet share and i just got done listing 12 new items on posh and cross listing them over to ebay and now i'm probably gonna after this i'm probably gonna list a couple of items over on mercari and depop all right, see you guys later.